Um, we're with Matt and Adam, who have built this remarkable toilet set. Well, designed the toilets, which are composting, mm -hmm. and also with a shower system as well, which gets heated from the compost. But what's the details? Well, so this is the second year that Studio in the Woods took place here on New Barn Farm. And um, last year, when I got involved with Joseph, who organized it here, he, at, he said, come along and help me with some of the logistics, and, and can you just deal with the toilet mm. kind of thing? And, and I think he thought at the time that we were going to just get some portaloos in. Yeah. But being young architects, you can never resist an opportunity to design something. And so we had about 800 pounds. And last year, we built a similar set of structures, but out of plywood and out of polythene. Um, not knowing what was here and what materials would be available. Right. Uh, and the other thing that we had, did last year was dig very deep holes so the composting was happening directly under the loo, more like a traditional long drop. Mm -hmm. And so all of the things that have happened this year differently are responses to the learning that we did last year. Right. Uh, and, and getting Adam involved this year for mm -hmm. the first time was... was you brought a, the composting idea. Yeah, I, this yeah? is something I've been uh, reading about these two ideas sort of separately. Uh, one is the uh, using human waste and composting it, um, which is this kind of really elegant. Uh, I, I'm very impressed. The first time after reading about it for a couple of years, I'm really impressed with its performance. Uh, mm. I, you know, people online say it doesn't smell and uh, it's very pleasant, all those kinds of things, and it yeah. really actually has been. We've Absolutely. Had nothing but positive response on that front. Um, and it basically, uh, you just cover the waste with sawdust and add it to a compost. Which we've had loads of. Which, yeah, exactly. Yeah. One, of the, one of the byproducts of Studio in the Woods. Mm. And so we're using that in, in bulk to cover things and then cover the, the compost pile as well. Right. And then the other uh, idea is uh, comes from, from a French uh, inventor who basically used gigantic compost piles to heat water for his house and uh, for his personal use. Right. And so we brought those two ideas together. And uh, and there's no, I mean, the water doesn't pass through the compost, it's through Through a pipe, yeah, we have it with 10, yeah. 10 meters of copper, copper tubing that, that go through. And uh, the, the showers were a little bit of a learning curve this year because uh, it, I think if we do it again next year, we'll, we'll get better. Uh, we have had some warm showers off of them, but... Yeah, I had I had a good yeah, 30 yeah, yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> exactly. well, the joy, the sheer joy of having yeah, that 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah. Amazing, like, heated from something so yeah. simple. It's, yeah, it's really You know where it's coming from for that yeah. special moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess everyone contributes in, you know... Yeah, yeah. They, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it really, it's, it's a wonderful uh, closed cycle of, of the, some of the bright byproducts that we bring here, like our own waste and mm -hmm. the sawdust and all those kind of things and bring us together yeah. and actually create something new. And as well the kitchen waste. And in fact that there's a bag that you can't see just behind is the last of the sawdust from the festival. Yeah. So right. so at the end of it, all of the sawdust from the festival, yeah. most of the kitchen waste from the yeah. festival and all of the human waste from the festival yeah. is all going into that compost pile. Right. And we should also probably mention that one of the things we did was uh, this year was uh, we had the, the idea that these structures, because they're not permanent, should be easy to take down. So they've actually been assembled They've basically been sewn together with, with rope. Mm, it's uh, beautifully was, simple. Lovely. Yeah, which was an idea we had in London uh, and seemed like kind of interesting, but mm. it's, it very much took some testing here to, to, get, to get it to work quite right. And, uh, One of the so now what we'll do is that just suspend it at the top, we can cut the top. Mm -hmm. These will all collapse away. Make sure there's no one using it. Yeah, first. absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, not. Yeah. And, uh, and then uh, we'll stack these up to dry uh, and potentially they'll be reusable next year. Right. Fantastic. So, um, yeah. One of the most complicated details of temporary buildings is always removing bits, the uh -huh. doors. And, and I think the, yeah. the generator for the sewing structure was the idea that, that we didn't want to use hinges and we didn't mm. want to have a kind of traditional door mm. hardware system. And so we, the idea of the curtain for the door and then, and then as we sort of develop the curtain idea thinking, in fact, the whole, the whole building can be a curtain. So really yeah. each facade is, is, is a curtain mm. yeah. and then the three that don't move are just lashed right. together instead of instead of free flow. Maybe we can take over the train. Yeah, sure, yeah. So you have on the back corner this cross detail, which actually gives the building all of yeah, its it lateral pulls, stability. pulls the building together. Before those crosses were done, and we just have one cross brace at the top that then yeah. holds, the, holds the shower head in place. And when you pull the curtain back, on yeah. the then you have the shower. Mm -hmm. and, and you can see the shower head up shower top. Head on there. Yeah. And then you have this little bench in here where you can... I love that detail, yeah. You can store your store dress your into the bench and then... Yeah. Have your shower and do it all up. And, mm. and last year as well, we were seduced by some some, some brightly coloured garden hose equipment for the shower head, and it didn't quite work. Right. So we've gone back to the traditional yeah, kind of rainwater shower head this yeah. year, and it's 
it's definitely worked. Yeah. And here's, this is the lock. I mean, yeah, yeah and that's the lock. exactly that's yeah, a rope that just simple. latches Beautiful inside. Beautiful simplicity. Yeah. It's great work. Thank you.